Hey everybody, I hope everyone is having a wonderful Thursday. Um, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys today about things I think are not worth your money and things I think are. Um, let's just get into it. I don't have a lot of time, so just because of YouTube. I wish I didn't feel rushed. I always feel super rushed to talk and get through these videos because YouTube only gives me 15 minutes. I, I had made partner back when I did YouTube like 10 years ago and um, they changed something recently to where you have to like resubmit your stuff and I didn't know that. So when I decided to get back into it, I wasn't partner anymore. So I was like, my timing is down to 15 minutes, which I talk a lot. So it's really hard to, to do that. Okay, products I think are not worth your money. First, I don't even know where I put it. Okay, number one is the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. Okay, we do not need a primer for every little bit of our face. I mean, we already are using a face primer, an eyeshadow primer, a lip primer. Like, what are we going to have next? Like an eyebrow primer and, oh my gosh, we even have mascara primers. Like, seriously, it's ridiculous. This, I've seen so many YouTubers say such good things about it, but the thing is, I didn't notice anything different. I didn't notice it do anything different to my under eyes um, at all. So, and um, my, I did notice my concealer creased more that day, but I don't know if it was because of this or just my face, but it, I just, this came in my BoxyCharm and I just would not buy this on its own. Number one. Number two is the Uma, I hope I'm saying it right, concealer. This stuff creased like no other. Oh my gosh, it is so nice. Like, I really loved the way that it feels. I love the applicator. It's so smooth and soft. I wanted so badly to like love this. I loved how it felt. It's so creamy. It never dries though. Like it stayed very, very creamy. And even after setting it with powder, it creased. So I had to keep on fixing underneath my eyes because I have a crease underneath my eye that just kind of likes to gather products underneath it and store them like a, like a squirrel. And so yeah, this was awful. Do not, do not try this. Um, Next product that I feel like is not worth your money are the, and I feel so bad saying this because I don't think this about all of this brand's products, but I think this about these like baked browns and the mauves and the whatever the hell else came out with the dose of color eyeshadow palettes. Um, the one that I liked was the one with, um, I love Sarayi and um, Desi and Katie. Okay, first of all, you're gonna be like, oh, well, you haven't even used it, so how would you know? Because I already have this. I got this in my boxy charm, and I already have it. And literally, like, you cannot even put your brush in this. Oh, my neighbors are now deciding to work on a car. Sorry. Um, they kick up so much powder, like that, it is ridiculous. Like, I just, I don't understand how this happens. I really don't. I've seen so many and like, I'm not doing anything. Like I'm not pushing hard. I'm not anything. And it's just so dusty. And so I don't understand how some brands can't just get it right. It is like, I, you see how certain brands have like this perfect formulation and it goes on so smooth and so soft. And then there's this, when you lose half your product, when you try to do your eyes, I don't understand. So yeah, pass, pass, pass. Um, another product I thought was, is not worth your money is the, um, any blush <laughs> by Mac. Okay. So the reason why I say this, it's not that they aren't beautiful and that they don't have fantastic colors and a beautiful finish. It's that they are ridiculously priced. I mean, you can literally get any color that they make from ColourPop. So, or any other brand that is, 
less than half the price. So why would you bother with this? Like, it's just not worth your money. This is worth your money. Any Blush by Patrick Ta. They are so pretty. They go on so creamy and so smooth. He has literally made blush, like he perfected it. Poor, like seriously perfected it. I was gonna say poor affected it. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, I just, and then his packaging is stunning. And look at how much you're paying for these. I think they're like 32 or something for a MAC blush. And they still haven't upgraded their damn packaging unless it's a launch. Like, come on. Like, this isn't cute anymore. I'm a sucker for packaging and they need to, like, step it up a notch if they're going to charge that much. I bet you this costs, like, a penny to make, like, eight of them. Um, okay. Another thing I don't think is worth it, and I've hesitated because I don't even know who this is, but I didn't want to offend anybody which is the Tarte um, Whitney Simmons collection. Okay, this is literally the most boring palette I've ever seen in my life and I don't know what the fuck happened to me when I bought this. Like, did I like lose my mind and think that I don't have these already? Like, I love Tarte and they have a lot of products that I really, really like, but this palette like has like, no pigmentation like i don't know what's going on or if i just got a bad one but the highlighter is literally like you can't see it on me at all um the colors are just black blah like literally like after i got tati's palette like i never need another new palette again even though i've ordered i think a couple um, so yeah, I'm sorry to whoever Whitney Simmons is, like no offense. I just really thought this was really boring. I, I just cannot recommend that palette. It's pretty, like, no. Um, a product that is worth it is the, and these are in no order. Like, as far as, like, I just picked random stuff that I'm absolutely loving right now. Um, is the Undone Volume Matte and Textured Spray by Amika. I guess I say it. I've gone through three of these. Like, and I am not even like, like a hairspray person. I hate the feeling of product in my hair. I don't like feeling like I have hairsprays in my hair or like oils or anything like that. Um, one, I have, uh, I have a lot of hair, but it's really fine. And so anything too oily weighs it down. Anything too hairspray weighs it down. It doesn't give it volume. It just like flattens my hair out. So this does not do that. It is amazing. And at first I was like, ah, it's matte. I'm gonna take my shine away. But it didn't, it's just, it's great. It smells great. It works fantastic. It lasts all day. And it keeps my hair looking nice without weighing it down. Fantastic. Um, another thing I don't think is worth it. Oh my gosh, these companies are gonna hate me. I mean, like, not that they're gonna see my freaking video, but okay, so I'm a fan of youth to the people. I like their stuff this stuff no and you're probably thinking well you haven't tried it long enough to even know if you like it no i had a sample and like a dummy i still went and bought the full size because i was like oh my gosh this is so great this doesn't even get my makeup off and i didn't realize that until i woke up two mornings in a row with a bunch of mascara under my eyes and i was like what the hell's going on like i'm seriously washing my face never had that problem before with my little dinky nine dollar face wash from ulta but this one does not get my mascara off and I don't use like um, waterproof mascara. I just use regular mascara. I use the Milk Makeup Mascara and everything else, it takes it off just fine. This doesn't take off my makeup. <clears throat> so that's a no for me, Bob. Um, I don't know who I saw, <laughs> what YouTuber says that, but um, a product I think is worth every single penny and I'm going to buy a backup because I love it and I'm like going through this thing like it doesn't look like it, but I have. I use this thing every day. There's holes in it. Um, it is so pretty. Like, I, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't know. You know, it's so tiny. It's actually not really that little. Um, I use, I just run my brush across these three. At the top, 
and pushed them all over my face. And then I use the bronzer for um, contouring and then the blushes sometimes, you know, if I'm not using the Patrick Todd, I'm kind of in a hurry. What's nice about this is if you, um, let's say you work all day, like I have my job, um, I'm usually there about 10, 11 hours sometimes and I can take this with me and if I need to touch up, I've got it. I've got everything I need and then I just use my Flower Beauty uh it's a brush that you can just take with you that pushes down into the cap or whatever um something like that it works well with this worth every penny if you can get your hands on one of these if you can afford it get it especially now that um sephora is having their sale um not worth it it's another mac product i don't even know i don't know with mac okay so i literally have this thing where if I can't buy something I'm gonna freak out so I go to Mac and they have me like swatch this and I'm like oh my gosh it's beautiful I have to have it and he's like oh yeah all right let me go grab it for you and then he's like oh sorry we're sold out and then the hunt began um, I called every Mac counter from here to Las Vegas and finally found one and they mailed it to me and um i literally got it and i was like yes score no one's gonna tell me i can't have anything dude there's no pigment in these eyeshadows like i don't even know what i'm gonna do with this thing it literally like i bought it because this one like caught my attention i just barely did that to it like you can't even see it like i pick up nothing nothing when I swatch these like there's like no color like that's from all the blushes okay they don't show up on my eyes though like there's not just nothing they're so soft and I don't know if it's because the influencer that helped create this this uh brand um or this launch is super fair so she chose lighter colors or because they're not that light I don't really know what's going on with this like max eyeshadows I, I think like they're just not as good as I used to think they were and I don't necessarily know if it's because they've changed or because I've tried other things that are cheaper and better or just better it's because it's not everything's cheaper like Tom Ford I swear him and Pat McGrath make the best stuff in the world um I guess one other foundation one other thing, which is a foundation product that I think is worth every penny, is La Mer. La Mer, um, Stay Naked, Shiseido. These, these are, these are like foundations that, um, would work with anybody's skin type. So if you're oily, great for you. If you're in between combo, great for you. If you're dry, amazing if your combination amazing if you're oily eh, i mean you, you'll just have to set it down and probably blot here and there amazing try these okay i think that's all i've got for today yeah that's it so oh another thing not worth your money is anything from the Tarte Christmas um, collections. I don't like these. I can't stand them. I don't know why I buy them. I, I did this last year. Didn't even use it. I just gave it away to my daughter. It was a Christmas tree thing, which is so stupid. I don't even know why I do that. Like, I'm, I'm, I have a problem. Someone call somebody. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week and a fabulous weekend. And I will see you again soon. Bye.